smell like horsepower. 600 of them things. Woo! What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So, obviously, you guys saw the last video. You know what I'm saying? My turbo was highly unprepared. Fully built everything, but the turbo takes a shit. Ain't nothing I can do about it, man. Only thing I can do is make sure that it had proper oil flow because, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna say this. I ain't fucking around. Your boy already got the new joint. You know what I'm saying? I did upgrade though. So, stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? So what we have here is a turbo from Precision Turbo. This is a 6262. No, 6266, my bad. So, my last one was a 5831, which, you know the thing about trim sizes, this is a bigger turbo. And my other one was rated for, I want to say, like 585, but this one's rated for like 740, 40 something, like 750 basically, which is more than enough. So, what we're going to do is see what's popping. You know what I'm saying? Get somebody. <laughs> I feel like a kid at Christmas. Brand new in the plastic, baby. Mm. So yeah, let's open this up. Be careful with these, man. You smell that? What you smell? It smell like. It smell like horsepower. <laughs> Six hundred of them things. Secret note from Precision. What does it say? It say, you the man. Trey beats like, nah, let me stop. That's <laughs> a registration drum. Oh my god. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. It ain't much, visually, it's not much bigger than uh, the other one. But I got, this one came with the V-band. So basically what I'm going to do is, um, those of you who have been subscribed for a long time, you know Mike. Mike uh, made my turbo manifold and did all my intercooler and my downpipe work. So I'm trying to make Honda Day with this turbo on there. He told me to slap it on there and mock it up and see um, how much fab work we're gonna have to do. I think the only thing we might have to do is throw a 90 degree bend on this and then take my current um, downpipe and switch it over to V band. So I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it on the car and see what it looks like. So, ended up being a little more challenging than I thought. So, uh, when, when Mike made the manifold, um, we had to use this flange, uh, or not a flange, just adapter plate. And it's basically, uh, you put this on a T4 and you can and use it as a T3. So I had to get this off. Um, <clears throat> so I had to go to Lowe's and get some new bolts. So I'm gonna test fit, make sure the turbo, make sure I can bolt it up and if everything works out. Then uh, we're gonna slap it back on the car.
crib. He's going to fat me up a new downpipe for the new turbo. Uh, another thing is, don't try to film and drive. It's just dangerous. <laughs> I'm doing it for y'all, though. Remember that. Uh, so, yeah, you can hear the turbo whistling. I'm mad crazy because it's, uh, obviously, it's not, well, I need a 90 degree bend off the turbo to the charge pipe. So, literally, all the pressure that's building is going straight out the front of the turbo. So, it's, like, whistling crazy. It sounds like a diesel, a diesel spool. I wouldn't mind that, honestly, but, yeah. Anyway, yeah. And uh, the prelude you saw in front of me is my boy, Tevin. So, uh, yeah, we on the way. So, we back at Mike's, uh, Mike's house, man. We, we, we need a new downpipe because we got a new turbo. And uh, we got fast things going on here. You guys remember Mike. If you don't, if you're new to the channel, he was the one who built my uh, turbo manifold from scratch. You know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. I got a mess in here for everybody to see. Oh yeah, it's, it, that's what happens when you're busy. When you when you you're doing 50 million dollar titanium jobs like like this one right here. But uh, but yeah, man. The lewd is making a comeback. So we had a little hiccup at the dyno, but it's all right though. We got the new turbo on there. It's a 6266 with the V-band. And that's the reason why we had to uh, swap it out for a new um, downpipe. So this is the new flange. So he's gonna make some magic out of this and then we'll be ready. I got a few other things I wanna do, but uh, Got my boy Tevin PTV over here. You know what I'm saying? What is good, brother? Hey, make sure you go follow his channel, man. Videos are up as we speak. So follow that right there. Go to the page right now. So for those at home that don't know anything about welding, what you doing right now? I'm marking this to line it up, and then I'll go tack it, and then we'll make sure it fits, and we'll take it off again, and we'll weld it, and then we'll Fits and we'll take it off again. <laughs> you guys get that? Measure 18 times, cut four times, weld once. Uh oh. Straight to some CCP Argentina, flexing hard John Cena, freaky Tina Look so right up in that white beamer 50,000 hours in a hole Thanks to my lawyer, I'm back And now I'm on a stroll Moonwalking in my socks Screaming fuck the cops They gentrify my old block, yo Moonwalking in my socks Screaming fuck the cops they Alright, so Obviously, it got a little dark, but um, still gonna get some footage for y'all. But uh, the downpipe is done. You know what I'm saying? Look good. So downpipe's done. Um, I did it pretty much like we did it before. Let's just go straight down, straight downpipe, and then the uh, housing. We gotta run the 90 degree bend. And it's gonna come off of the turbo outlet into there like I, how I had it last time pretty much. But yeah, I'm almost finished. I'm like the mix say wheezy. Moon walking in my socks, screaming fuck the cops, they just should find my old block, yo. Moon walking in my socks, screaming fuck the cops, they just should find my old 
All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start it up and see what it sound like. Got this uh, light bar popping, so we can actually see. So, it was a little dark uh, in the last clip, so I wanted to show you guys what it looked like uh, in the daylight, and then I'm also going to start it up again and let you guys hear how it sounds revved up. This thing sounds crazy, bro. So, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. Mike did his thing, and on top of that, I mean, I, I wasn't expecting anything less, but I'm just amazed at how fast he did it, bro. He did this and like, he did... The downpipe and this 90 degree bend on the turbo in like an hour and a half, bro. That's like superhuman. But yeah, new downpipes in. Looks really good. Eventually, I do need to heat wrap that. Probably going to heat wrap the... Actually, I don't want to wrap the headers. But probably at least the downpipe and the uh, dump tubes. But yeah, this thing looks good, man. Looks better than before. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how much of a difference you'd be able to tell on camera, but in person, it has like a deeper, a deeper tone to it, and uh, and the turbo, since it's bigger, you hear it like wind up a lot more. is crazy oh my god hey that's crazy this thing sounds good man well look if you guys enjoyed the video hit that like button you know what i'm saying uh if you feel like somebody else should see it hit that share button and if you new you see that right there then yeah, go ahead and hit that that's the subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one the grand opening I come through and start smoking shit I'm creeping up while I'm approaching you